This is the best free game in existence, but you can still buy the expansion pack to get extra pets. And already we have something new, a ladybug. Gain plus one, food, and armor until the end of battle. We don't really want that. We'll take a fish for now. I don't really love temporary upgrades, especially not in the beginning. And bluebird, end turn, give the leftmost friend plus one attack. Well, that's probably going to scale pretty nicely, so we can basically just go like that. And then when we end the turn, that should give the fish a boost, so he's 3-3 now. And the foamy buttocks is off. And we're fighting a pig and two green beetles. And I uh, don't actually love my odds here. Uh, it's going to be a draw, but that's okay. The early battles don't really matter. Well, they do a little bit, but we're going to take a bluebird and a fish. I'm also going to freeze this fish and we're going to not waste this turn. We're going to put some honey on this fish also. Then when we end the turn, he's going to get an extra two attacks. He's 5-3 plus a honeybee. And that honeybee is very important. There's a 2-4 ladybug on the end, so we'll see how this is going to go playing up to it. And his cricket's going to be a 3-3 plus he's going to spawn a cricket when he dies. So the odds here are not very good. Uh, we're going to die, that's okay. Because we're only going to lose one life, and we're setting ourselves up for a brighter tomorrow. And we now have a camel with a blanket on its back. Start of turn, give shop pets plus one, plus one. That's maybe okay in the early game, late game that's not going to scale well. So for now I'm going to go like that, and well I'm basically just going to sell this thing and put the camel blanket thing there. And then we're going to roll one more time, and I'm basically going to spend six gold efficiently if I can. So we're going to buy fish there to combine there later. And we're going to give a cupcake to you, who is now up to 11-7, and it's round 3, so I'm hoping that can carry me through if need be, though that thing is going to be a nightmare. And what's an owl? Okay, so we managed to get through that. Now it's my turn to hit with my strong units, but we're only going to get through a few of them before ourselves dying. But I got a stronger camel with a thing on its back, so we'll just go ahead and put you there for now. Roll. We could combine it into a better one already. We could do the same for the fish. So let's just go like that and like that. And if we got something good, we could have frozen it, but I don't want a dog. But I do have more strength throughout my lineup, and that fish is going to get another two, so it's 10-4 already. These green beetles seem to get strong a lot, so maybe there's something to them. Uh, I wish I had killed that, because that would have made me feel better, because now we are going to actually win this. Never mind, I didn't see the meat bone. Well, we're playing for late game anyways. I don't know what's in the late game, but we're going to find it. Going to combine you two for now, and I'm going to put you there. Then we're going to roll, and we're going to put garlic armor on probably my camel thing. And then maybe a meat bone on the bird, just to get it some damage to start. Doesn't have a lot of health, but it's going to hit something hard. Fish is up to 12-4. I just realized the problem, my units have almost no health. They're very defeatable. But he's going to take out the ant at least this time. And then the bird's going to take out the bird. Then we're going to take a few hits on this guy for sure. And then we're going to have a problem because it's a bee versus a caterpillar. So, okay, we're going to combine those to hopefully get something good. A bison isn't bad, but it's also not great. So what we're going to do is maybe put the bison over here because I need that power. We're going to put the birds together again to hopefully get something good. I'll take a dolphin for now. After spinning again, now it gave us a snail to give everything a boost. The problem is my units are actually starting to get some decent stats on them. So I'm not going to buy that. I'm going to roll and hope for something good. Caterpillar. Start of turn, gain one experience, so it levels every turn. We'll freeze you. Uh, a few spins later, give adjacent friends plus one health. That's also very good. That would scale things very nicely. So I'm going to freeze you while I think about what to do. But does my team have the toughness right now to get through all this? We took out him already. Uh, we traded there. We didn't trade there, so that's a nice change. We didn't trade there. Maybe we're starting to get ahead of the curve finally. So we're going to also kill you, and we had two units left. Victory two, but we can only lose one more fight. Okay, but now I'm a little sh unsure how I want to play this. I think I'll maybe get rid of the dromedary, because I just... Nope. He can go there, and then we're going to put the fish, and then a fish. The caterpillar would be cool, but I think it's maybe a little late to start its leveling journey. I might regret not getting that, because that seems like it would scale really, really hard. But for now, I'm going to give you a meat bone so you can hit hard. Then I'm going to give that to you guys and off we go again. Basically, just wanted something to get a little bit better. And I can see a lot of things here that only help scale and build really well. We already took out their squirrel, which isn't a big deal, but it's nice to get rid of that. We're definitely going to die to this dog. Uh, and also this fish is going to be a problem. We're going to kill it, but we're not going to get past their prawn. We only made it to turn 7, but I can see how we can scale this really hard now. So this time, let's start with a mosquito. We're going to roll, and I guess we're going with a 
fish and I don't know a cricket because it doesn't really matter at this point. Making this battle pretty much irrelevant. Uh, luckily the mosquito did take it out right away but my little cricket spawns to save the day first victory. Then we don't really have anything I can stack so we're just going to go ahead and roll and hope for something we somewhat can. So that'll work. We're going to put down a mosquito and a fish. And then we're going to give an apple to the fish because I just really don't want to waste any money and they're going with only four units so maybe they know something I don't. That's actually a 6-6 six, six fish. I didn't realize that to begin with, so that annihilated us. So this time I'm not going to go for the dromedary, at least not at this point. What I will do is put two mosquitoes together. I'm going to throw a bat down also. That's going to make one enemy take three extra damage. I'm going to put the fish together. I'm going to buy a rat and then add a apple to the fish. That's just going to add nothing but strength to the lineup. This bat might be a little bit useful early on. Uh, but it also might not be like we're doing three extra damage or something with two health anyway, so I don't know if I see the point. We did win that battle though. The bat might scale pretty well though, uh, like one enemy taking six damage might not be bad. But that's pure speculation and I never speculate on anything. But right now I'm going to sell a cricket and replace it with a bird, that way it can be buffing the fish because I want something being buffed at all times. And then for our last six gold we're going to give the bat a little bit more life and while we're at it make it super annoying so that way when it hits something right away that something probably dies. So the lineup is getting stronger. That guy's going to take three extra damage, so the bat's a little bit odd early on. We died. But the bat makes something take three extra damage. Things generally have three, four health anyway, so that's not a big deal. But we just unlocked a new tier of pets, so as I combine this fish, we're going to get something in the next tier. Friend bot gain plus one and plus one. So this is basically what the dog used to be. And I'm kind of here for it. So what we're going to do is trade the mosquito. We're going to move the fish up here. We're going to put you back here. We're going to freeze the garlic and spin and see if there's anything more we want to buy. Probably like a caterpillar. Caterpillar is going to be good and I think it's going to scale really well. So we're going to put that at the back of the lineup. And there's so many fun things in these new pets. This puppy. If you have three or more gold, gain plus two, plus two. Well, that's an easy way to spend three gold to get plus two, plus two every single turn. But I would only do that if I had a swan currently and I don't have any swans. So maybe save this bird dad here. But for now, let's see how this lineup does. I know approximately what, a 15 and 9? How are you so strong already? That's going to kill everything. We can't fight that. Okay, well, I'm not sure how they did that, but well played. But the caterpillar did gain some health, so that's something. We're going to add that to that. And we did also get a snail, so I'm actually going to remove this bat. I'm going to put this snail up, so he's going to give everyone a nice hearty boost. I kind of forgot already that for the buffalo, I need to be buying and selling things. So I don't really want any of those. I'll probably end up throwing a sheep up front just for something that kind of slow the enemy down a little bit and that's going to be a nice boost for him who's now up to 12 10 13 10. so right away we're going to run into that uh we brought our spawns out even that thing's getting pretty strong but the enemies are also all generally pretty strong luckily i have this uh is my anchor at the end so he's able to take out some idiots with one health left. And the caterpillar just leveled up which unlocked the poodle. Uh, give plus one and plus one to one pet of each tier. Interesting. That's actually super interesting. Uh, so now I want to do those to help scale the lineup if I can. So we're going to sell the sheep. I think I'm probably also going to sell the bluebird which is a pretty big risk. And then I'm going to put the fish here because he's going to buff both the caterpillar and the buffalo. Then I'm going to put the poodle somewhere up front and then once it ends turn he's going to buff some other people and that's just going to add up. We're then going to give garlic to you and then I don't know I'm going to put honey in the fish for now just because I don't want to waste that gold. Now we're going to get some good buffs going on. So yeah actually he's going to buff a lot of stuff. Uh, that's a really annoying team to fight because those are going to do damage to everything every time I touch them. Luckily I have my uh, thing down the end who's probably going to survive that because of his health and armor. That's actually going to be... we're going to maybe draw. Yep, I think we're going to draw and I'm okay with that considering that nightmare of a team. But now I'm going to need something pretty strong if I want to replace something in my lineup. But I did just get two pairs and a caterpillar so we can actually get a pretty good upgrade right now by going you and you and you. And I think even when I stack him, that still counts as buying a pet for him. So he's up to 2119. He's up to 7 and 9. And this fish is going to give them health. It's hard to know if this is a good build or not. But so far, it seems to be working. That's annoying. So we're going to get Scorpion right away because I don't have any melon armor. But we got some pretty strong units uh, on the rear now. Except for him. But you've got a lot of health. So hopefully you can tank on through all this. Take out the snail. You actually do a lot of damage. Then you're going to summon a chick. So we actually lose this by one health. It's really hard to 
build something here and I'm not really sure what it is I'm working with but there you go you are now level three you evolve into a butterfly then copy the stats of the strongest friend which is going to be the buffalo also there's a goat now friend bot gain one gold works two times per turn oh so you actually get basically discounts on buying pets that's kind of interesting but also not something we're going to go with yet for now I think I'm going to freeze that and then we're going to get some good stuff friend bot gain plus one plus one rhinos would be fun too but let's work with some of these new idiots then I'm going to give you to you, and I'm actually going to give this fish more firepower. That way he can hurt whatever he's fighting up front, which is probably going to be a scorpion. So this time the uh, caterpillar should evolve into a butterfly, and then he goes to 25-25. I didn't even see what that was because I was watching the butterfly. But this is going to help me give a lot of firepower. Then as I upgrade the uh, ox or whatever it is on the end, we're going to scale with it really hard. Especially because he's leveling really hard every single turn. So we're going to give him maybe some garlic armor for now to make him stronger. Then we'll see what else we get. Uh, end turn gave plus 5 plus 5 to the friend ahead until the end of battle. That's actually really potentially strong and that makes me worried about what I'm about to fight. Well since I think this caterpillar is going to be very strong because it's going to copy whatever the buffalo is doing. I'm just going to continue to upgrade the buffalo. Or maybe at least give this tropical fish a little more love. Because I think if he levels up once more he's going to do a lot more for the idiots around him. Which actually should be something other than him now because he just copies the buffalo stats anyway so let's upgrade the fish we're gonna put the poodle up front because well whatever the poodle can fight the scorpions so he's fighting a caterpillar but that's fine <laughs> and he's dead but we're gonna get butterflies oh he's got a t-rex why is there a t-rex uh our thing is stronger though luckily so we're gonna die there but we're going to manage to do a big bite out of their team and we're actually going to survive this because my thing is stupidly strong it is kind of nervous though because i don't know what a lot of these things do and i really would genuinely love getting the buffalo properly upgraded but we'll get there eventually or right now we could upgrade either the buffalo or the tropical fish i think the tropical fish is actually better because he's going to add two health to his surrounding friends oh and let's be mean and put a stake on the poodle now now he's going to do 20 damage for one single attack so now everyone gets a bunch of extra health things are looking strong i'm pretty sure the caterpillar is now going to be pretty unstoppable oh they have an octopus but also a boar Oh, but the boar's gonna die because my poodle's stupidly strong. Which is good because I don't want that boar lasting any amount of time. But having two idiots on my team that are like 35-35, probably gonna be enough to carry me pretty far on its own. Depending on what things like that do. But that's victory number six. Okay, we now have a sauropod. Buy food, get one turn. So if you buy three foods, you basically get a discount. But I'm pretty happy with my results so far. I'm going to give some chocolate to the poodle maybe because it'd be nice to get him giving everyone more buffs. I'm going to freeze that for a sec. I'm going to spin in case we're able to... Ah, uh, my beloved boar is here. But I'm not going to use him, believe it or not. I'm going to give some pizza to everyone and some more pizza to everyone. I just like getting really big numbers on everyone. And so far, we seem seeming to accomplish that pretty well for example my caterpillar now becomes 3313 okay whatever that was just knocked it way down so that was actually really smart i didn't really catch what they did i think that was the skunk but that took a big bite out of my lineup we're still gonna win no we're gonna no we're gonna have one health left but that was smart because they knock it down before my uh, caterpillar takes the stats if i was smart i'd come up with like a strategy on my own for that but i'm not so we're going to upgrade the poodle and now gives plus two, plus two to idiots. Then I'm going to roll and I did actually get melon armor. So I think I'm going to give melon armor to the buffalo. That way if something does make it to him, they've got to hit him twice. And that's going to give 33 damage twice in response. Wow, look at the octopus. Gain plus eight, plus eight on a level up. So if you level him up once, he jumps to plus 16. You can only level him up twice, but that'll bring him up to 24, 24. But you also have to buy a lot of octopuses to get there. So I'm going to go with uh melon armor on you and i'm also gonna level you up oh and there's a tyrannosaur and turn if you have three or more gold give all plus two plus one that's actually huge i might swap to that because that's like paying three gold for huge upgrades for everyone every turn i'm gonna think about that since it wouldn't do anything for me right now anyway because i don't have three gold but actually if you combine that because you get uh discounts on some things now you could combine a tree rex with some of the gold discounts and a swan and you'd be able to get crazy strong anyways here's what we're fighting and even my poodle is doing 36 damage they have a very strong butterfly up the back which kind of makes me nervous so we'll see how we fare against all this we're gonna get through most of them they did the melon armor thing too which takes that out 
but then we're going to, I think, win this because of my melon armor. We're going to draw this because of my melon armor, and I'm okay with that. We could also put a hatching chicken to give him a boost now at this point, because this is only going to do so much from this point forward. He's almost at max health anyway. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Not sure I love this choice, but there we go. So he's going to get much stronger. He's at 3845 currently. Then I'm maybe going to go like this. And I'm going to give a cupcake to him. I'm going to unfreeze the T-Rex as much as I would like to use him. There's also a microbe. Make all pets weak. They all take plus three damage. Not really that great. Going to spin again and probably spin again. I just wanted to see if there's anything useful. So he's already up to 42, 49. He's going to hit... Uh, 49.50 that means the caterpillar is also going to go 49.50 oh that's a lot of melon armor though melon armor and the dog that might be the end of me but we'll see my butterfly is oh if it wasn't for that we would have actually done way better here because we could have actually survived the first hit now we don't we lose a lot of it there but we take him out we lose our armor but he's got melon armor too and he can take me out but my chick is still alive eight trophy that was scary but like always we persevere Chicken, give current and future shop pets plus one, plus one. Just for buying it? That's kind of interesting, but um, for now I think we want to stack you on you. And then I'm not really sure what I want to do with my remaining money. My team is pretty good, but it's still falling down at times. I just realized I made it all the way here with a fish as well. Well, since I don't really want to waste this money, I'm just going to buy garlic armor for you. It does technically make me very slightly stronger. And uh, not that we really need the help, but every round that passes, things are going to get stronger. Like we're going to have to deal with a rather strong scorpion. Uh, and then we're actually going to have a very strange battle with this dog. But then after that, I think it's actually pretty clear sailing for us, believe it or not. So, good on us. We still have 50 health they had to get through. There is trophy 9. So they could probably actually move this chick over to the fish, because he's basically going to be max stats anyway. So we're going to give the fish a nice boost. Uh, I'm going to freeze both of these in case we can get some animals to stack, which we can't. So I'm going to give, I don't know, the fish a boost, and then this is going to boost anyone. Then we're going to spin a few times, but it's not going to matter, because win or lose, this is the last round. It all comes down to this. Okay, can the dry nuts win this one? We've got a lot of firepower throughout this team, so I'm kind of hoping so. But there's only one way to find out. There's a scorpion up front. There's a 50-50 dog, which sucks because it's actually going to hurt that a lot. But we're going to take him out, and then it's going to be up to my idiot at the end to take out all of these. You're going to love this. Trust me. I don't think he's up for it. Oh, he is up for it. I misread that entirely. That's actually a victory for me. Uh, with a rather cobbled together lineup and some very basic units. Like, the poodle's early on, the fish is certainly early on, the whatever that is is early on. Game 1, turn 16. So here's a fun one. We're just starting out, we're going into round 5, but I already have a 9-5 mosquito with melon armor. So that's going to make it a little bit easier and give me room to do something stupid. But to start, I'm going to combine the ants to hopefully get something good. A bison actually isn't too bad at all, so we're going to put the uh, that in place of that. Then I'm actually going to sell this tabby cat, uh, because its power just isn't good enough. What I'm going to do is put this bird behind the mosquito and that's going to make it a really hard thing to get through and then garlic armor for probably you. Oh, I didn't think about that. That was maybe stupid of me. But we're going to get a stronger chick then that's going to be a nice boost to something in front of it for a long time. And my ox by itself is going through most of everything. Then the mosquito finishes it off in a hurry. I think pretty soon the bluebird is going to be kind of irrelevant anyways. So we're going to upgrade the chick instead. And while we're at it, I can keep upgrading the mosquito towards level 3 for my ox. I'm going to buy the cupcake for now. And the swans are really tempting right now also. Only because gold is so valuable in these new ones. So we're going to freeze both of those and give the mosquito a cupcake. And that's going to put him up to 18 and 14 with melon armor. And that's going to be bad news for whoever we're playing against. As long as he doesn't get hit by one of the mosquito salvos, which he didn't. This is a strong team. Uh, wow, I didn't expect to fight someone so strong so early because he's going to strip my melon armor. And then we got a lot of attack damage to get through. Uh, I think we're actually going to draw this, which is fine by me because that's not a loss. So let's actually get rid of the bluebird, which I didn't think I was going to. We're going to take those for some extra money. And then we have a dog, which is definitely going to scale really hard if we have the appropriate things to scale it with. But basically, you're committing to upgrading this dog. You're spending $3 on this particular dog every turn from now on. So I'm going to think about that. Uh, but not before combining my bison a little bit. I really need to get a level 3 thing or my plan's gonna fall apart. But at least my aunt's gonna give something a buff. Went to the mosquito. Perfect. This guy's really strong. The bison's gonna take him out, but then we're gonna lose our melon armor to him anyway. Then we've only got 3 health left. 
So that's not great. And then it's up to my check to fight a 13-9 bluebird. But I can upgrade my swan. Uh, so that's great. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I see how this works now. When you buy a tier 1 pet, it upgrades all future shop pets. So with this also, if you had a lot of money, you could um, make a mess with that. What I'm going to do now is sell this ant. And then I'm going to give my bison. Uh, after we find the right stuff, we're going to give my bison melon armor. So I need to replace that pretty badly suddenly. But this is a good start. Everyone get a stat boost. Now go away. The deer would be an okay uh, piece to put there. Oh, I moved the turtle anyway. So never mind. That's not a plan anymore. What we're going to do is buy a deer. And then we're going to give probably you a big boost. And then we're going to see how this goes. I'm not actually scaling any animal on any turn right now really. So I'm going to start to fall behind probably. Not like last turn where we just kept going and going till we were way far ahead. But that's going to help. The bus is always super annoying, especially in the right hands. That garlic armor was annoying. Now we trade it, and now it's up to him to take him out. And we'll win this one, but not by a lot. Well, by a little bit. That's fine by me. That was only my third victory so far, though, so we're going to have to find something pretty lucky to make this work. I think I'm going to have to give up on my bison dreams and just put a rhino in its place for now with one of these. I'm going to freeze that for a second, spin once. Oh, I never got an eagle before. Upon faint, summon one tier six pet. That just sounds really annoying to have to deal with for everyone. Because I don't know what's going to show up, but that sounds really annoying to have to deal with. So let's take away the deer. Controversial choice. We're going to put an eagle up. Then we're going to feed everyone one of these. We're going to freeze the eagle in case that works out great. And it's way too late for a caterpillar. So that's good enough for me. Let's see what the eagle spawns for us. I can't even remember what the tier... Uh, six pets are. I know one's a Tyrannosaurus, but now I get to see what it is. Okay, so we got one of these. They're not actually that strong now that I think about it. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, because in hindsight it probably wasn't. But we're going to take out their ox before succumbing to their dolphin. Maybe if you upgrade him he gets better, or maybe that was just a bad tier six pet. I'm going to double down on my stupid idea. Like any smart one would, but we're going to give you him. End turn, give plus two, plus two to a friend ahead. Oh, it's a permanent boost now. Interesting. So... What happens at the next level? Uh, there's also a snail, but it's too late to buy, and I don't really want to exchange my lineup now. They're already brittle as it is. But he's going to get a permanent plus two, plus two, and it's a mosquito, so that's obviously not great. But for once, we're actually going to... Oh, we knocked his melon armor off. That was a good shot. Thank you, whoever did that. So you're going to die, then you're going to die, but we're both going to summon something. You summon a chick, and I summon a mammoth. A mammoth is a good one, because when he dies, he gives my friends a nice boost. And that's going to help me go through the rest of their lineup, hopefully. Most of them. Oh, this is going to be a good one because the rhino does damage. Once you knock someone out, he goes on to the next one. And butterfly. Good. And that unlocks tier 6 for real this time. But we just don't actually get to play with any of them. But that's fine. I'm going to give a rhino this. Then I'm also going to give a rhino melon armor because you want him to start killing things. If he starts killing things, good things happen. Then I'm maybe going to sell this swan, uh, which is a controversial choice again. But I'm going to put the tiger behind the rhino because now if the rhino knocks something out, he's going to deal 8 damage to whatever's in front of him. Which can actually set up a chain reaction of just killing everything, especially if there's summons. Uh, I'm actually going to freeze this meat stick because I was kind of curious to see what the uh, we up against our eagle. There's a few different ways I could go from here. Tyrannosaurus is tempting because I could just give everyone lots of upgrades moving forward. But I'm going to give meat to the eagle instead. We're just going for a weird build rather than a super, like, meaty one. How well that's going to work out, I really don't know. What I do know is we just hit those two. That's actually not a super strong lineup we're fighting. Oh, they took up my rhino and melon armor already, though. Oh, that's rough. That's also rough. Oh yeah, I forgot we spawned him though. That doesn't save me at all. A puffer fish of all things is going to be my undoing here. We're going to kill him, but he's going to kill us. Well, unless our chick can carry through these three, but it can't. They were shaping up to be a really fun build. I didn't realize how strong that team was. The rhino and tiger would have been hilarious. 